All right, first pie guy here. I have a couple boxes here that have uh, multiple Raspberry Pi Zeros in. Uh, this one has two, one there, one there, and this one has one. And we have a power switch, power switch, and a power switch. And these are all ran by uh, 3.75, yeah, 3.7 volt uh, batteries. They're battery packs that you can get at the store or online. And these are for uh, ham radio for uh, fox hunting. Uh, I'm running uh, Raspbian on here with a uh, PyFox software and it transmits however many seconds you want it to transmit and you can uh, let it transmit whatever <clears throat> like your call sign or whatever Pi Fox or fox hunting whatever you want to uh, do with it so if we open this up as you can see there's the battery pack and it converts it over to 5 volts out to a Pi then we're using a ground and the uh, GPIO4 to transmit on and I have some filters but I don't have it on here but I'm just using an SMA bulkhead that I had laying around <clears throat> and this one's for two meters this one here <clears throat> I have two pies and obviously two SMA bulkheads switches power switches for both then I have two fans in here maybe not really needed but I went ahead and did it anyway and we have some holes here for some breathing <clears throat> and this one here is a little bit more busier since we have more going on so we have two battery packs same way converts over to five volts then I use these little micro USBs to charge the battery pack and I can just hit the button here we got three lights full charge uh, I'm not quite sure on how long the charge would last uh, these are 5,000 milliamp batteries uh, I have it set up I think transmit every minute so it might last a while just for some fun uh, you can always go bigger if need be but as you can see same thing we're coming off the Pi off the ground in the GPIO 4 over to the bulkhead and then uh, I just mounted the pies there like I said I have two fans so we run one at a time it only turned one fan on and not both <clears throat> and this one does two me two meters and 1.25 centimeters the 220 band uh, so if we uh, turn this on let me screw this in here I don't have my filter but it'll work for now uh, this will transmit automatically every minute I believe so if we turn our radio on and I'll put it over here you might not be able to really understand what it says because of the camera and whatnot but uh, we'll see if we can hear it so it'll take a second for it to start up <clears throat> now this software won't work on like the uh, Pi 4 I don't think it'll work It'll work on the the basic Raspberry Pi, the Pi Zero. I'm not quite sure if it'll work on the Pi Two. It might work on the Pi Two. It works on the B or B Plus, the older uh, Pies. So it should come up here. Alright, it just went off. Like I said, it might be hard to hear, but it uh, transmits. So, uh, 
We'll go ahead and turn that off. <clears throat> but uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description. I already have a web page on my website about this. Uh, I might even have another video on there. But it'll have some more information. But I'll throw the link in this video description. I did a video before, but I figured I'd update it a little bit maybe. Uh, and we'll go from there. So uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.